Now here is another three marker question that's question number 18. Give reason for the following. In this case you have three different parts and each of these part you will get one mark if you give answer correctly. What would be the answer? Let's take first part first. Transition elements and their compounds act as catalyst. You have to give the reason. You can give the reason by simply writing that if we talk about transition element these and their compounds act as catalyst because they have the ability to adopt multiple oxidation states and due to that they form complexes and that's why they are doing so. By writing this you will obtain one mark for this part. Now second part let's take E0 value for Mn2 positive to Mn is negative whereas for copper 2 positive to copper is positive. So basically these are the reduction potentials for these two elements and in this case the value of E0 is negative for Mn2 positive while it is positive for Cu2 positive. You have to write the reason. What would be the reason? The reason for that is the hydration enthalpy. In case of Cu2 plus ion the hydration enthalpy is not sufficient to compensate the sum of sublimation enthalpy as well as first and second ionization enthalpy of copper and that results in its positive E0 value while if we talk about Mn2 positive it is not so and if you talk about the marks you will obtain one mark if you write this reason correctly here. After that next part is there actinoids show irregularities in their electronic configuration these are f block element you know that and you have to mention the reason for this fact that irregularities in the electronic configurations of actinoids are related to their stabilities of f0 f7 and f14 occupancies of 5f orbital and that results in irregularity in electronic configuration and if you write so you will get one mark for this part of question number 18. I hope this question is clear to you. Now let's move on to the next question. Students it's a turn for question number 19 and that question number 19 has internal choice also. So let's take first part write the structure of the monomers used for getting the following polymers and what are these polymers nylon 66 glyptal and buna s for writing the monomers of each of these polymer you will obtain three marks here is the internal choice also so first let's try to solve this question first nylon 66 you have as the polymer what are the monomeric units which are used for the formation of this nylon 66 yes definitely adipic acid and hexamethylene diamine are those monomers which are used for the formation of the polymer nylon 66 and if you write the name of both of these monomers you will get full one mark it means if you write one only then you will get half mark for this half mark you will obtain and for writing both of them you will get full one mark now the second polymer we have that's glyptal in case of glyptal we have the two monomers one is ethylene glycol the formula is given here as well as phthalic acid so on writing the names of these monomer you will obtain full one mark half for this half for this so one mark is also awarded here after that the next polymer is buna s and the monomers in this case are 13 butadiene and styrene so if you write the names of these two you will get the complete one mark so one mark you will obtain total three marks you will obtain if you choose this question as your internal choice but if you opt the next part that is the or part here then we have to read the question once again this also has three part the first part in which you have to find out whether this given polymer is homopolymer or the copolymer with reason further the second part write the monomers of the following polymer I'll just show you the structure given here this is the structure for this polymer further what is the role of sulfur in vulcanization of rubber these are the three parts let's solve them one by one first part we have this polymer and you need to just find out whether it is homopolymer or the copolymer and along with that you have to give the reason so you can give the reason for that this is a homopolymer why homopolymer because it has 
same type of monomeric unit a single monomeric unit is there that is why so simply we can mark that it is a homopolymer and it is so because it has only one type of monomer and what is that monomer that you should mention CH3 CH CH2 this is propene so you will get one mark if you mention in this way after that the second part once again the structure of polymer and what you need to write here you have to just mention the monomer of this in this case you have to mention the two monomer of this if you check the structure you will observe that it is the polymer of melamine and the formaldehyde and that is why if you are writing this you will get one mark for this choice further third part is left let us check that what is the role of sulfur in vulcanization of rubber vulcanization process is very well known for rubber and it is used to make rubber hard so simply we can say in vulcanization sulfur forms cross linking at the reactive sites of double bonds of natural rubber due to which that rubber gets stiffened it becomes hard it means this will also give you one mark so if you choose the second choice then you can obtain full three marks if you attempt in this manner after that here's the turn for the next question that's question number 20